welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Episode 8. Last time on Let's Play Pokemon, we blasted through the Nugget Bridge, beat through Mount Moon, and now are prepped and ready to get our lovely Mew, as been decided upon by you guys that I will be grabbing it. So, um, the glitch in totality is pretty easy, and I'm going to try and explain this the best I can as going through it. First thing to note is that, one, you need to beat the Nugget Bridge and have saved. Now, I have saved here. Um, I would recommend getting at least a Pokemon that has sleep in some form. So, for instance, I have Bugaloo, which is a Butterfree, and will have the ability of Sleep Powder. Um, just to kind of show it off, Pokemon here, I have Bugaloo in the front. Um, it's stats, it's got some decent speed, thankfully. Um, it's got good sleep powder, and then that's all you're really going to need for catching. Um, I also have, uh, with its tackle, I won't do so much. You are going to want some weaker Pokemon to fight it. So, um, but the first thing you need to do is get an Abra. Now, an Abra, the, first, the only place you can find it is off to the route to your left, but you need to be careful because there is a trainer there that you need to save him for. You don't want to touch him just yet. So, in order to do that, you're going to want to walk straight up, go across like this, and go up against the wall here to the left. Then you're going to come down. You'll see the trainer to your right here. Uh, then you're just going to want to kind of go up and down. Now i got Bugaloo in front again to try and get Abra. Now, I don't know how long this part's going to take, so I will cut where it needed to be until I can find an Abra. Uh, hopefully I can grab it right away. I, I've been pretty lucky with Abra sometimes when I do this. So, um, Otherwise, I'm just going to avoid most Pokemon that show up. Um, as I only really care about an Abra at this one moment. Low percentage rate. Let's find him. Come on, Abra. Abra, yay! Him in his nice sitting pose. Abra actually has a pretty decent sprite. So, Okay, so now with him, right away I'm going to try and put him to sleep as it will make it easier to catch, and it will stop him from teleporting, hopefully. All right, sweet. So with Abra asleep, uh, makes it easier to have to avoid him. Um, it also makes it easier to catch him. So... I'm going to throw some Pokeballs. Kind of hope to just be able to catch them right away. Oh, damn it. Come on. Fast asleep. Come on, Pokeball. Oh, come on, game. Come on, give me the Abra. I need him. I don't want to waste too many Pokeballs either. We got the Abra! And uh, I know exactly what I'm going to call this Abra. Which, by the way, is using its ability to read minds. It will identify impending danger and teleport to safety. Do you want to give a nickname? Yes, we do. We're going to name you Glitchy, as you're going to be our Glitch Pokemon. Glitch. Glitchy. Alrighty then. Alright, so now we have our Abra. Now with that, he's in our party. He's fully healed. Um, what we're going to want to do first is I'm going to go back. I'm going to heal up all my Pokemon. And then I'm going to buy five more Pokeballs because I want to have about 20-ish is about the range you want to have. As Since Mew is a legendary and you are trying to catch him, it does have a very low catch rate. So you need to kind of be careful when trying to catch him. Um... And the only reason why I want to heal up is in case I need to use uh, Munala, which if you if you would have saw, I put her in our team. Um, oh, I don't need 99 crap. I need five, five walking Pokeballs. All right, there we go. Thank you. All right, get the five Pokeballs, so now we're at 20. But I'm gonna need Munala mainly to be able to do just some chip damage. Now I know, like I said, Bugaloo has really crappy t uh, physical. So it'll be able to do, uh, it'll be a good uh, kind of starting Pokemon to hit, hopefully. Alright, here's your Pokemon. Alright, and the uh, the next thing I want to do is see how I have an open space so that we can get the lovely Mew inside your party. Okay, so we're going to go down, we're going to go left. So now we're going to head back. Now, if you remember, I was avoiding the trainer uh, when trying to find Abra. As I said, you wanted to stay up against that left side of the wall, completely avoid the trainer. So now what you're going to want to do is instead you're going to end up having to go in front of him. And actually I'm going to kind of break my let's play rule here and I'm going to save uh, before him. 
Uh, just in case this fails, I can reload the save, and we won't have any issues. So now, the trick that you're going to want to do is you're going to take a step down, and as soon as you see him, you want to mash the start button. What will end up happening is the me uh, menu will pop up. Now, I'll explain the next step once we get there, but for now, let's just do that. So, all right. Nope, see, I failed there. So now I'm going to have to restart the lovely emulator. So be right back. All right. So I got it here. Second try. Woohoo. Not that bad. So as you can see here, so right now I walk down and the trainer can see me. But it hasn't activated yet. It's very similar to how when you walk up to a square and a random battle appears, as you've seen before, where the random battle will trump the trainer. The trainer's priority is lower, and I think it's due to what I was talking about because of the wild Pokemon. The menu ends up taking priority over this battle, and what you're going to want to do now is with the menu open, is you're going to want to go up to your Pokemon, and this is where you need Abra, because Abra has the lovely ability to teleport, and you're going to use teleport. Now, before you do this whole kind of glitch, and sorry if you followed up to this point and I haven't mentioned it, but you're going to want to at least heal in Celeron City, or Cerulean? Cerulean City, sorry, not Celeron. Cerulean City, because then it'll teleport you there. And that's where you kind of want to be for this to kind of happen. So you want to teleport. It's going to warp you to the last Pokemon Center, which should. And you'll see here the battle initiates, but then we take off. So what that does is it kind of screws with the memory of the game. And now it thinks when I go into that route that I'm supposed to be in a trainer battle. It's kind of got those two linked together. That, that route means I'm in a trainer battle because technically I should be in that. So now what you're going to want to do is fight two specific guys in order. And the reason why you want to do this is because you're kind of loading up the RAM inside the game properly. Right now things are kind of glitchy and set up. And based on the special stat and the ID of the Pokemon that was last fought... Um, you kind of have to load up some other things in between, but it'll basically dictate that it'll grab the ID from the last trainer to do, which will detect it as Mew, and then it'll put the uh, the special stat from that Pokemon will dictate its level. And so we're going to end up fighting a Slowpoke with a, with a special stat of like 7, either the first digit or something like that. And that will is what triggered it to get us a level 7 Mew. So now, don't go to your left, otherwise you'll trigger the fight. So here you're going to go to the right, gonna walk over into this route now there's a specific pattern you want to avoid any fights that you don't need which includes so you want to fight this guy as far away as possible if I remember correctly again this is why you save before you do this because I, I could goof this up so and the number of steps that my, the person takes um, accounts for this as well so that's why you have to be kind of exact you always want the trainer to go as far as possible so all right let's fight this guy um, I should have probably switched out Bugaloo. Oh well, I'll switch out now uh, in this fight as Bugaloo would probably want to keep up to tip top shape. Though it is a Machop, so Bugaloo actually will end up doing pretty well here. So let's keep it out and do some. Uh, let's see if we can put it to sleep. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, it doesn't affect him? Oh, I didn't actually know that. Oh no. Dang it, critical. Alright, fine. Confuse it. That'll do a lot. There we go. Oh, don't do that move. Alright, confuse it. There we go. Alrighty then. Yeah, we leveled up. Now, I don't know if that's going to throw things off, so we'll see. <laughs> but it shouldn't. Alright, here we want Geodude, so yes, we're going to switch. We'll bring on Bubbles. Alright then, Bubbles will come out. Alright, Bubbles. So let's take out this Geodude. One Water Gun should pretty much do that. There we go. Good job, Bubbles. Yeah, Bubbles grew to level 20. Alright, you worked hard. Alright, so now you're going to want to avoid both of these trainers. So go down, go to the right, come up. And now here, again, get this trainer to fight you at your maximum point. Again, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to switch this out. To keep Bugaloo safe. Yep, you're going to want to run here. He'll come and run up and fight you. Dad took me to a great party on SSN of Vermilion City. Nice. So now this guy, I think he has one or two Pokemon, I can't remember, but is it just one? 
It's just one, which is a slow poke, which again has the same ID as Mew, like Pokemon ID. So that's what kind of trips it up and triggers it. All right, quick attack. So hopefully Lumina can just take out the slow poke. Oh Lord. If not, we'll end up switching to bubbles and handling it from there. We'll see how the slow poke ends up playing out. Yeah, that's a critical, yay. Oh Lord. I don't know if Lumina's gonna take through this, which is fine. We don't really need Lumina for the full thing. Oh God, stop it. Do you know any other move? Okay, we're just gonna keep kind of going as I want to save Bugaloo for the end. Ow. Did pretty well. I have to give Lumina credit for not being very good against this due to its uh, defense. All right, Bubbles, finish it off. So here we're gonna tackle. Bam, Slowpoke's dead. All right, so now if everything is set up properly, as I've done now, so what we've done is we've gone through and set up the RAM exactly how we need it to. It's based on the, on the trainer's number of steps, the ID of the Pokemon, I think the total stat, and the special stat will kind of dictate what we got. So now what we want to do is walk back because the game still thinks we're in a Pokemon battle when we um, when we enter back into the route over here. Now before I do that, I want to make sure Bugaloo's up front. Good, so we can put it to sleep. All right, let's hope we did this right. So now we're just going to walk over until a battle. All of a sudden, boom, your menu opens up because it's going to think this is where you were the last time you were here for some reason. I don't know why it doesn't work when you come up through the route. It's only when you come back to the left. It's weird, but anyways, as soon as you unpause this, that's when Mew drops. So, battle starts, and we get Mew. Ta-da! A level seven Mew. Now, as I said, you're gonna, it is level seven, and if I take it out, I saved before this, so we can restart, and I can go through this process off, sc off screen if need to be. Hopefully Sleep Powder works. Thank you. We'll take that. So Mew won't take out Bugaloo. Because Mew can still do a significant amount of damage because of it. Hopefully Tackle doesn't do much. Okay, good. Now we gotta hope for no criticals. Alright, come on Tackle. No crits, no crits, no crits. Okay. Okay, one last Tackle should do it. Okay, no crits, no crits, no crits. Beautiful. I'm still fast asleep, so now I'm going to try and throw a Pokeball at it. We'll see how it does. Yep, and see, as you can see, it still is a legendary by heart, and still has the lowest, like, catch rate. And this is where you kind of have to hope you have enough Pokeballs to catch the thing. Dang it, come on. And here you're just kind of rolling the dice, and... So I'm going to try and keep putting it to sleep is what's going to end up happening. And hopefully I have enough Pokeballs to do this. Huh? Yeah! We did it on the first, fourth one. All right. We'll take it. Mew was caught. All right, then. And there you go. Mew, a new species. So rare that it's still said to be a mirage by many experts. Only a few people have seen it worldwide. Do you want to give it a name? Actually, yes, I do. And we did we was give it a name. It's a weird one at that. We'll do it. So we're going to call it Wombo. That was what Mr. Helfinator would have wanted for this Pokemon. Only one to really give suggest a name, so Wombo it is. Alrighty, and there you go. We have Mew. Um, as you can see, if you check your party, now all the RAM resets itself after that fight, so everything's back to none. There's Wombo, level 7. If you check its stats, what's interesting thing about Mew, now this one's slightly different probably because of its but, I, but the last one I got was dead even all the way across the board, 19, 19, 19, 19. Um, is that Mew has a natural progression growth. So it's very moldable. It's, it's, it's the most moldable of all Pokemon. It can learn every TM move. It doesn't have too strong of a, of a move pool. It's got four moves, four or five moves it ultimately learns. Sadly, it doesn't learn Psychic till like level 40. So it's not going to be a very good Psychic type until we get up to that point. But... Honestly, it's inevitably just gonna it has pound as its standard move and it does a lot just with that pound So uh, for now, I'm gonna leave Wombo as it is. I'm gonna try and go save We'll do the rest of this upper route and go talk to Bill or At least try and do some of it next episode in between um, I'm gonna try and grind up some of Wombo and Munala to try and get them up to a, at least a moderately decent level I don't 
I do not know if I'm going to bring them up exactly to everyone else. Uh, I might do that intermittently in between episodes. Um, and then thus that will let us uh, have a decent team. So we kind of have our six-man team as it's going to be going forward. Um, the ones that are going to end up changing throughout it. Um, I still need to get a Haunter and a Porygon. Um, and they will ultimately take the places of uh, Lumina and uh, Bugaloo. And then we have one more, and that's to take the place of Glitchy. Um, I'm going to keep Glitchy in here for now, because uh, he's just kind of there. Um, but he isn't going to really do much, unless you guys want an Alakazam, which would be a very broken team. To have a Mew, an Alakazam, well, it would be a Kadabra, and a Haunter. Those three together, just utter brokenness. So, probably going to put a Rhyhorn in for, for Glitchy. And that will kind of round out the team to be something at least... I say it's nowhere near competitive, but at least we'll do something that way. So, all right. So with the way it is, I think yeah we're gonna leave Lumina up above. So hopefully we can get a Pidgeotto. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. But we're gonna go finish up. I think it's Route 23 or something like that, if I remember correctly. Um, and that should bring us to the end of the episode at least. So, all right. Let's work our way. Now get bridge. You know, too many battles. I think we have like three to go up here. If I remember correctly. I know this is item to the left that I didn't get. So let's grab that right away. Alright, I found TM45. I wish you would tell me what the TMs were. But I do plan to give Mew... Ultimately, we're going to kind of stack Mew up with some TMs. So it actually becomes useful. And just being useless. So. Alright, what do you got? Local trainers, come here to practice. Alright, whoosh, 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 whoosh. Alrighty, little guy. Youngster, let's fight him. He's got a Rattata. Alright, Lumina should be able to take this out. Let's go, Lumina. Let's level up. Let's become actually something useful. As much as it becomes Pidgeotto, it actually gets some decent stats. Oh, no, no, Tail Whip. Quick, take it out, Lumina, before it tries to do any damage. Yeah. Ah, didn't level up. I was hoping. Alright, we got a Spiro. Let's keep our, our guy out. Keep quick attacking. Come on. Alright, good. Hey, they're just going to keep lowering the defense. We will keep taking priority and finish off that Spiro. Go, go, go. Yeah. Look at that. Just sweep them. Sweep the team. And we get level 18. Woohoo. Go, Pidgeotto. Alright, speed high. Good attack. And we should get a nice evolution here. We got that. And what? Lumina's evolving. Yes. All right. I love that it's still this, like, pose of sitting. It's one of the few times Pidgey slash Pidgeotto kind of has that sit stance in these games. So I still think Pidgeot's got kind of a weird sprite. So, all right. So there's Pidgeotto. All right. We'll keep fighting. I think we only have two more trainer battles. We'll probably save right before Bill. We're going to see Bill first. Let's fight. Um, and that'll pretty round off the episode, ultimately. Alright then, Hiker wants to fight. Alright, Hiker, bring it on. Oh crap, it's got an Onyx. Pidgeotto, not very good against Onyx. Alright, again. So, what I'm gonna do, switch over to Bubbles, because Bubbles can take care of this. And like I said, so, I'm ultimately gonna add Geodude back in for Glitchy, which is Rosa, I think I named it. Rosa, right? Rosa will enter the f into the fray um, as, our, as our rock ground type. Just kind of train that up. I'm going to train those three in between these episodes so we can have a somewhat viable team going forward. Um, we should have everything basically covered. We can do quite a damage to most of most of at least the, the gyms. So, I'm trying to think. So, Electric will have at least a Rock type. The Grass type will have Psychic to be able to do that. We'll end up then going up against Poison, which again, weak against Psychic. Alright, took care of you. What was the next one? Oh gosh, there's actually a few more fights than I thought. Hi! My boyfriend is cool. Well, thank you. That's good to know. Um, uh, trying to think here. Yeah, that'll take care of the, the, the poison, and then you'll have Psychic. The Haunter will be able to do most of the damage there when we pick up Haunter. In between then, and then we'll have Fire, and then Ground. So yeah, we pretty much got everything covered, I think, all the way to the end, so... I think the team overall will be decent. Alright. Come on, Lumina. Take this thing out. I'm just going to keep growing some levels. 
All right, there we go. Let's use another Needle Ran. This should be easy. And I think actually I'll probably end it after this fight. I need to keep us within a decent amount of time. Ah! As the last one was a little bit long, so let's kind of work with what we have. There we go, take out that Nina Rats. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Blue, uh, we're going to go see Bill, and then we'll take on the Cerulean City Gym. And uh, from there, we'll be poised to start working our way south. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!